The twin flame separation phase can be downright brutal. Filled with emotional, spiritual, and sometimes physical pain, it can cause us to doubt the journey and sometimes prevents us from doing the very work we need to focus on to end the separation phase. So these are the top signs twin flame separation is almost over and how you can help things along. Number six, acceptance. The early stages of the journey are full of doubt and an emotional roller coaster. There's no easy timeline for this, but one of the earliest signs that twin flame separation is coming to an end is that sense of peace that comes with acceptance. We accept that we're on the journey. We accept that both our twin flame and ourselves had work to do to be ready for the next step. We accept that we're destined to reach union as long as you further your spiritual journey. This isn't to say that separation instantly becomes easy, but you do have a better understanding of the path ahead, and with that comes the peace you need to focus on reaching union. Number five, dream frequency. Twin flames communicate through dreams long before they ever physically meet. Most of this goes unnoticed and forgotten, but as you get closer to separation being over, the frequency of sharing dreams will become more obvious. Your twin might appear plainly to you, and share a conversation, or it might be something more subtle and something in your dream represents them, but you'll know exactly who it is. Keeping a dream journal can help you understand the messages from these dreams better, but the more often they happen, the closer separation is to being over. Number four, the pool to meet. Two flames who reach union often talk about this pool towards a certain place or thing. It might be the urge to try something new or to visit a familiar place, and their twin just happen to be there. Strange synchronicities are a common sign of twin flames, but as separation is ending, they'll often become more frequent and more specific. Once you're both ready to take the next step, the universe will find an opportunity to put you both together. Number three, other synchronicities end. While some synchronicities are leading you together, you might find that older ones begin to fade away. Whether it was their name, number patterns, or a shared joke showing up in strange places, these are often there to help you correct something. These signs were there to help guide you towards what you should be doing. If you've already completed your healing process and you're ready for the separation to end, you don't need these signs anymore. Number two, your life is in harmony. Remember that part of the reason of separation in the first place was to give you both a chance to heal. This often extends far beyond your love life and one of the biggest signs twin flame separation is over is other areas of your life coming together. This might be professional, financial, or heavily personal. It might be focused on your health, hobbies, fitness, or even a combination of everything. Twin flames push each other to improve. More than anyone else ever, they will provide you the energy and support to be the person you want to be. And that happens before and after union. So right before separation ends, the rest of your life will likely be in the best position it ever has been. That doesn't mean everything is perfect, but it will be a clear improvement on where you started the journey. You'll also notice the ability to manifest new strengths and skills into your life far easier. The twin flame connection allows you to share energy and experience easily, and the closer you get to union, the more noticeable this becomes. Number one, the release. This one is harder to explain, and if you're in the middle of a separation, it can be hard to believe. Right before twin flame separation is over, you almost don't care about it. Subconsciously, you already know. And consciously, you're so focused on the improvements you've made to your life that reaching union doesn't feel as much of a priority. That doesn't mean it won't hit you when it happens, but it will feel like less of a priority. Remember that every twin flame journey is unique. These signs should be seen as guidelines and you shouldn't place demands or expectations on yourself or a twin flame runner, regardless of the signs you're seeing. You might see none of these and still reach union. They might happen and you don't even consciously notice. But also remember that twin flame union doesn't just happen if you sit back and wait. It's a journey of discovery, self-improvement, and healing that goes for both you and your twin flame. Allow these signs to guide you, but don't fall into the trap of just waiting for them.